for the picnic, here? Yes, ma'am, I will. I mean it. Yeah, ma, I promise. Shot. Oh, quit your whining, Rob. If I didn't stop it, it would have rolled down to the creek. Still should have let it go. Well, if it would make you happier. <gasps> Ezekiel, dear, I think everything's ready inside. Everybody, let's go on inside. It's time for a little culture. Well, gotta go. Oh no, little brother. You're getting the ball first. And if it's in the creek, you're going in after it. I'm not gonna get your ball. You threw it, you fetch it. And if not, I'll tell Pa. Come on, Mary. Balls at croquet. Pro what? You you throw it at crows. You live up there? Yeah. Today's a Sunday school picnic. Where do you live? Over on Mill Hill. I was born and bred in a shotgun house. 
Hey, Spangler, we got a game to play. We need that ball. You play baseball? We just playing a game if you'd like to play. I mean, I could play with y'all? You can be the umpire. I'm just kidding. Of course you can play. Come on. Since we's a little short of players today, I found us an extra. This here's, what's your name? Will. Will Wright. Well, I'm Chick, and that's my brother Pike, and that's Willis. You'll learn. This here's a town boy. So? He can still play baseball? Hey, town boy. Reckon you can slide into base without tearing your knickers? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind, Pike. He's just being ornery. Chick? I don't know as I can play ball with somebody that smells like soap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. Now let's play ball. Tomboy. Tomboy's got a glove. Hand it over. Will, we don't have many gloves. So we let the team in the field use what we have. Come on. Hey, Will. You want first up? Come on. Let's see what you can do. Come on, Will. Come on, Will. Come you got on. this, Will. You got it. It's okay. Oh, come it's on, good. Will. Good. You'll get it. It's okay. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get the next one. Just, just make him throw you a good one. Pike, we're not gonna have that trash. That was just a waste pitch. All pitchers do that. with your hat as the flag goes by and let the heart have it say you're man enough for the tear in your eye that you will never wipe away off with your hat as I don't the flag see Will goes by, do you have any idea where he is cover the youngsters head teach him to hold it holy and high and for the sake of the sacred dead It's okay, we still got the lead. Hey Pike, it's your last bet. I know it, chicken head. Just shut up and pitch. Pike's up first this inning, isn't he? Yeah. Try pitching this to him. See what happens. You know, for a town boy, you got some pretty good ideas.
me see that ball. I don't know what you did, town boy, but I'll get you for that. Just wait and see if I don't. All right, two has to go. Who's up? I'm concerned about Will. Robert, do you know where Will is? Last time I saw him, he was heading down the hill towards the creek. When was that? When you called us in. Right. What are you doing? Get on home. The rest of you boys, get on home too. If you have one. We ain't hurting nothing. William, I'll meet you at the shed. Meet you at the shed. Ha! <laughs> Serves you right, town boy. You and your old man ought to stay on your side of the river. Townie. Son. Have you forgotten what you've been told about the boys that live on that side of town? Ever since the textile mill came to Newton, there's been a unwritten code of sorts. We don't interfere in their doings, and they don't interfere in ours. Now, I'm sure there's some fine folks over there, but we don't mix with them. Sorry I stuck off, Pa. But what's wrong? Sorry you did it, or that you got caught. Both, I guess. But why can't we... Never mind. You did wrong. And you'll be punished. Stay put. I'm not going to switch you over this. But I do want you to learn a lesson about going your own way. There'll be no baseball for a week. No ball, but Pa... No arguments. This is my last word. It's time you learn that you can't just do whatever comes to your mind. But can't we... No more. There are no stains on the pages of tomorrow. And no baseball, neither. Hey, town boy. 
what you doing up here? I wanted to see if you'd come play baseball again. Not allowed to, for a week. Can't you just like sneak off? Tell them we're going fishing or something? That's what I do. I don't want to get in worse trouble with my paw. How about Saturday? Can you come Saturday? Yeah, Saturday will be a week. All right, I'll meet you at the trestle. You know it's Saturday. Don't wait there on the mom. Hey, town boy. You ready to play some baseball? Sure. Can I carry your glove? Okay. We get to play on this field? Since the mill workers work until noon, we can play in the morning. What do you have to do to get on the mill team? First you gotta work for the mill. Then I've got time. For what? For that. That's what. Oh, chick, you're handing it to him on a silver platter. Be quiet, Pike. I'm giving him my good stuff. You ready, Will? Don't let him fool you, Scoop. He's been hitting my brother's stuff for years. You think you could do any better? Watch me. Okay, chick. Let's see what he can do with somebody else. Okay, bring it on in. Will Wright. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a chance, but you're gonna have to prove yourself in the real games. First, I need you to go to the mill to sign up for work. Practice after work, Games are on Saturday afternoons. What do you say? 
Do baseball scouts come down to watch mill games? You one of those, huh? Figures. Yeah, you make enough noise. Scouts will come down from Charlotte looking for new blood. But you're gonna have to prove yourself first. Are you in? Yes, sir, I am. Polite, I like that. Show up at the mill gate Monday morning. Chick will show you where to go. <laughs> now we're talking. I'll take care of him. Hey, town boy. See who hits fathers? Mill versus town. Yeah, okay. Hey, Jenny. Watch this. That's what I thought. Looks like Mill Beach Town. You ain't never gonna make the cut. Hey there. Hey, sweetheart. What's going on? Whoa, who's the new face? Name's Will. Will Wright. I'm Darlene. Nice to meet you. You want to celebrate? I'd better not. Uh, it's all right. We won't tell. I got to get home. They, they might smell it. Kind of loosen that one, straps of might. Don't you worry nothing about that. Listen, you ain't never gonna make it if you don't at least try to fit in, town boy. You know alcohol is illegal. There's tons of folks at the mill just as dry and as teetotaling as you. But baseball and booze just sort of go together. Kind of like chewing. The boys just like to have a good time. And the girls too? No. no Darlene's just friendly to ball players. Just a big fan. She don't mean nothing. I don't know. My pa would keel right over if he's figuring I'm becoming a lint head. Uh, no offense. Any town boy but you ever said that, he'd be picking his teeth out of the dirt. Listen, Will, you only met the rowdiest they is. If you want to meet some real mill folk, I'll take you by my house sometime and introduce you to Ma. Okay? All right, but if I don't make it, figure my pa killed me. <laughs> William? Evening, Pa. Sure is a beautiful night out tonight. Where have you been? Seeing about a job. After dark? It was over on Mill Hill. One year. One year down at Wesleyan is all we've asked from you, William. Pa, college is fine for Rob. He's studying for the ministry. I'm no preacher and I'm never gonna be, so why go? Very well. What is this job? Baseball. With the Newton Mill team. You would join a mill for a foolish game? It's good, honest work. Your father knows a thing or two about baseball on Mill Hill. I happen to know that bootleg whiskey flows like water every Saturday night. Now, are you going to deny that baseball and booze go together? No, sir. I can't deny that. William, I... I already turned it down flat. Well, it's good to hear that. Pop, being around players who drink will not make me a drunk. I've seen what spirits can do to a man. And I never want to see it again. Not in my family. William, you've heard us talk about Uncle Frank. Sure. He died in the Great War, right? 
No. He didn't die in the war. He drank himself to death. Finally hung himself up in the attic. William, I had to help cut him down. Pa, I'm sorry. I truly hoped I'd never have to tell you the whole story. Pa, I'm strong enough to say no. You'd be surprised how easy it might be after a while. Just to taste it when everybody else around you is doing it. Not if you know better. I don't want to hear any more. Pa, we're not done talking. What more is there to say? Your parents are opposed to you playing baseball at a mill. Pa, don't you see? I want this more than anything I've ever wanted. Life is not about getting what you want. It's not about being miserable. I gotta do this. This is my final word. Fine. I'll pack to leave tonight then. Will, you can't go like this. Ma, it's only a couple miles away. Do you have any money? A little. I've saved up. Son, will you do one thing for me? What is it? Years ago, I made a pledge that I'd raise my family to abstain from alcohol. Ma, I'm not going to start drinking because I'm playing ball. It's prohibition for crying out loud. Will you just look me in the eye and promise me that you will not take a drink? Ma, if it'll make you feel better, I promise. But stop worrying about me so much. I'm gonna be fine. Here, take this. I'll pray for you every day. Thanks, Ma. I love you, son. I love you too. I'm gonna make you proud. You'll see. Good morning. Chick? Well, it ain't you got an angel. How'd you find me? I weren't particularly looking for you. I thought you was coming this afternoon. That's kind of a long story. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on.
What do you think? Sure is a long way down. You know, up that way, about 600 miles, you got the house that Ruth built. And up over that way, got Comiskey Park, baseball palace of the world. Tell you one thing, one day this old mill hand's gonna be up there striking out the big boys. <laughs> Why does your brother hate me? Will, you've been born with everything he never had. Now you're getting the one thing he had that you didn't. Pike ain't gonna go easy on you. Hey, how about you come by our house this afternoon for Sunday dinner? I don't know, maybe I better eat at the boarding house. So what, now you're too good to eat with plain old mill folk? No, no, it's just... I feel kind of out of place. Well, there's only one way for you to change that. You just have to become one of us. And you can start right now. For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. Amen and amen too. Give me a bit. Hey, Ma, look what I brought. This here's Will. Oh, hey, Pac. Didn't know you was here. Bo, move on over, make a place for one more. Hope you like chicken and dumplings. Well, I've never had it before, but I'm sure I will. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I wish my boys would learn their manners like uh. you. Pay attention, boys. What's he doing here? Pike, he's going to be part of our team. I ain't eating in the same house in no town. You got a lot of gall. Pike, you sit down and I mean now. I'm Bo. Pleased to meet you, Bo. I'm Will. You got mine. Uh, Bo, that's very kind. But I think our guests would appreciate a whole biscuit. Thank you, Bo. Dumplings are great. I think I found a new favorite. Well, I'm glad you like them. Are you starting at the mill in the morning? I reckon he is. Well, Mrs. Brewster will feed you some supper, but she expects a day's notice to make you a lunch. Now, I have some preserves for your biscuits. And how many biscuits would you like? I reckon that'll do. I guess I didn't think about tomorrow. Thank you, you've been very kind. As soon as we're done here, I'll take you by Miss Brewster's boarding house. Good afternoon, Ms. Brewster. Good afternoon, Charles. This here is my friend Will. He's going to be starting at the mill in the morning, and we was wondering if you had an extra room available. I do indeed. A nice, quiet room. Glad to meet you, Will. Now, if you'll just follow me. Like I told you, it's a nice, quiet room away from that street. Hard to believe, but there are days when six or even seven automobiles go by out there. Clean towels are right here. Bathrooms at the end of the hall. Make sure you jiggle the toilet chain to make the toilet stop running.
Here it is. Uh, think it'll suit you? Yes, ma'am. I think it'll be fine. Two dollars a week. Glad to have you. Just make yourself at home. Thank you, Ms. Brewster. Well, you're in. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning at the main entrance and uh, baseball practice right after work. Thanks, Chick. See ya. See ya. This here's your floor. Hey, Mr. Smith. This here's Will Wright. Pleased to meet you. I'm your floor boss, but I'm gonna let Chick here show you around today. Here, you can get a baseball a long way. I reckon. Well, we're glad to have you. Maybe we can beat that Anderson team this year. I certainly hope so. Here's your wrench and your screwdriver. What do I do with them? Crank bolts and turn screws. Idiot. Ignore him. You're an official mechanic now, so if someone hollers their machine is stuck, you just go fix it. <laughs> I don't know about... You don't need to know nothing. Just check all the nuts and bolts on the stuck loom, and if they's all tight, then you go get a real mechanic. Sit down. I'm gonna teach you how to make a little extra money with a deck of cards. You sure this is an honest day's work? <laughs> You're too green to spit, town boy. See you there. I saw you at the tryouts the other day. Oh? I'm new here. I, I just signed on to play ball. So I gathered. Do you work at the mill? In the office. I'm a secretary. You like music? I think it's one of God's greatest gifts to us. My mom made me take piano when I was younger. You play? 
I haven't kept up with it. Too bad. Say, I, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Will Wright. Jenny. Nice to meet you. And actually, I was just talking to my friend Chick that we should find something to do after work, and there's this concert. So you come? Of course we'll be there. Good. Oh, you've done it now. Like sweet on that girl. Yeah, but is she sweet on him? Practicing your baseball skills? Yeah. Yeah? All right, what's come with us? Hey, rookie, show us what you got. It's one of the long balls, huh? Yes, sir. Come on, big hit, big hit. Get it out of here. Strike one. That's okay, come on, you can do it. You get the next one. Let's have some pep out there. Strike two. Bill want to show you how to play. Come on, make a pitch, too. Strike three, you're out. You'll get the next one. Sit down. Go for it. Oh, let's see some crap out there. Look like a bunch of dead fish. Bangley, you know what I told you. You know what I think? I think that was the worst first game I ever saw! Ain't gonna happen no more, you hear? Remember we got a bad luck charm splitting the team up, Scoop. Spangler, you worry about your own sorry game and keep your trap shut. All of you bad luck today. Clear on out. I reckon you gonna be joining us for a drink? I don't guess I am. Maybe y'all could take a lesson from the rookie and spend some time thinking about what just happened. You got a lot more to think about than the rest of us. Got the makings of a natural hitter. Very funny. Who are you? Just a fan. Can I show you something? I've watched every big stick come through here, from Shoeless Joe Jackson all the way down, and they all have one little secret. Suppose you're gonna tell me. It's all about a level swing. Right now you're swinging up at the ball. 
you've got to level out so when you strike the ball, it's like a hammer hitting a nail. And this is the hammer. Made it myself. It's the best batting coach I've seen. Come on. Takes a little bit of practice, but it'll flatten out your swing and the weight will increase your bat speed. I need something. Give it a try. Like I said, it takes a little bit of practice. I can see. You got any good ideas for reading a curveball? Never swing at a pitch you haven't seen. Watch his release until you know what he's throwing as he lets it go. And you just gotta hang back and wait till it drops in the zone. It's easy to say, but not quite so easy to do. You got an answer for everything. Been around a while. Keep the hammer as long as you like. There's your bucket of nails. I don't really have to take a bath, do I? I said you would. You agreed to pay me two bits to come. Bath's extra. I'll give you four bits just to bathe and come on. <laughs> Up front. One of our favorites, Bicycle Built for Two.
John Philip Sousa's King Cut. First good rain we've had in a while. Yep. We came to Newton from a mill in Chattanooga a year before last. Did you grow up here? Yeah, over on the town side. It's a pretty little place. It is. But I won't be here for long if I can catch the eye of the Charlotte Spinner Scout. Say, how do you play and talk at the same time? Well, you get used to it after a while. Someone's always talking in this ear while I'm trying to listen with the other when I play the piano for the mill church. Have you been? No. Not yet. I'm sure I will. Why don't you play something for me? No. Like I said, it's been years. Now, I can tell you have nice hands for playing the piano and for playing baseball. No. It would not be a good idea. Do, do you like baseball? Not much, but Daddy will never miss a game. So you think you could come watch us at the Anderson game this week? I will, if you'll come to visit at our church. You bring Imogene along to keep Chick company. Time to get going, huh, Will? Yeah, I reckon. So we'll see you Saturday. OK. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a hard-fought game. Here we are in the top of the ninth inning, and the score is still tied at one run apiece. Sloan is still on the mound for Anderson. He's pitched a great game today. And now, the strong horse of the Newton team, their returning hero, approaches the plate. Pike Spangler is Newton's power man in the batter's box. Sloan is ready now. There's a wind-up. And the pitch, strike one on Spangler. Ball. One and one the count as Spangler steps back up to the plate. His kid brother Chick, Newton's starting pitcher, scored the team's only run. Here's the next pitch. He swings, it's a high pop-up, going for left. Looks like this one may be drifting foul. Frazier's trying to chase it down for the out. And Frazier has it. Two out. Newton's down to their last out. Looks like Pike Spangler is a run-of-the-mill hitter today. Newton now looks for relief from their rookie right fielder, Will Wright. Will hails from the uptown side of Newton. And this is his first year of organized ball. Right may be Newton's last chance for a win. Now he's at the plate. There's the windup and the pitch. Right. It's a strike. That was a sweet one, but the newcomer passed it up. 0 and 1 the count. Next pitch. It's a breaking ball high and outside. 1 and 1 the count. Right. right scans the stands. Maybe he's looking for inspiration. One and two, the count. There's the pitch. It's a long line drive way out to center field. The center fielder's back to the trees. It's gone! A long home run for Will Wright. Newton takes the lead two to one. And Will Wright has tipped the scales for his team. What a game for Iron Will Wright. The next big stick at Newton. There's the windup and the pitch. 
And that's strike three. That's the last out for Newton. We go to the bottom of the ninth with Newton ahead on Wright's long home run. Now it's up to young Chick Spangler to see if he can hold the lead for three more outs. One down. That long home run is looking better and better for Newton. Right three. And that's two down. Anderson's down to their last out. She ain't here. And I, for one, don't want to be here when the sun goes down. Hey! Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, you pretty boys need to leave. All right, y'all go ahead. I'm going to hit you right later. Right, like I'm just going to leave you here. Scoop, we'll see you later. Y'all boys better run for home. That's what you're good at, ain't it? Running for home. We don't run from no grease pigs. You shouldn't have said that. Not here. Y'all clear on out of here. I mean now. Don't stand there with that straw in your mouth. Come on. Much obliged, mister. Boys look like mighty sore losers. John Douglas. Chick Spangler. All right. I know you both. Been to every game. Jenny's here in a truck. Oh, you're Jenny's father. That's right. I'm Jenny's father. Looks like your swing's leveling out. Your swing ain't bad either. Where'd you get that? Well, I made it. It's a hobby of mine, making bats. Good thing for us. Great game, Will. What a hit that was. Thank you. You pitched real well, Charles. Thanks. All right, let's get out of here. You boys riding in the back. Thank you. 
think I'll have a dope and a lime. Let's all have one. Fine. A uh, uh, what? Well, it's not as bad as it sounds. Just Coca-Cola with a squirt of lime. Daddy's favorite. Shoeless Joe special. That's right. Now there's a man who could tear the cover off a ball. Wait, you saw him play? Still see him once in a while around the Greenville area. Even after that Black Sox trial. He'll always be a hero to the mill. You know, that whole series, his batting average was 375, and he set a World Series record with 12 hits. Then they banned him along with the takers. One of the greatest players that ever strode the diamond. He was a natural. Speaking of famous ball players, did you boys hear that Billy Sunday is going to be holding a meeting in the county seat this month? Billy Sunday? I heard about him my whole life. He used to play with the Chicago White Stockings. I'll be glad to take anyone who cares to go. Count me in. Uh, sure, sounds interesting. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hope you enjoy that. <sighs> Say, do you think I could come by the shop sometime and watch you turn a bat? I got one on a lathe right now. You want to come by tonight? Sure. Okay. He's got to get initiated just like anybody else. We can't afford to hurt him, Pike. We need him. He is bringing us luck. Fowler, didn't you get drugged down the stone steps on your backside your first season? Yeah. But what you want to do is crazy. What about you, Wilson? You get initiated? Yeah. They hog-tied me to the backstop and left me all night. See, everybody gets initiated. He could get hurt. I ain't helping. Me neither. Ain't nobody gonna. He's our best hitter. Suit yourselves. You just might wish you hadn't left it up to me. All right, Will, come here. Grab a hold of that and tell me what you think. Maybe a bit thicker than I'm used to. All right. Let me see. I think I know what it needs. More lemonade? Yes, thank you. It's a lot like my mom's. Jenny, what happened to your mom? Well, it's not a long story. She died when I was born. Been daddy and me ever since. Sorry. What's your mom like? <laughs> She's a hugger. And a teetotaler. Me too. Um, teetotaler that is. Yeah, she's a temperance woman. What did she think about you leaving to play baseball? Well, to be honest, she and Paul weren't too happy about it. Then why'd you leave? It's not their life to live. Do you really think it's yours? Who else's would it be? You've got a new bat. Is 
she's a beaut. You might want to stain it or douse it up with some linseed oil to seal it. Much obliged. I think I'll stain it black for good luck. How much do I owe you? Uh, it's yours, but not for luck. God's given you a gift. Use it for him. Thank you. It was good talking to you, Jenny. Good night, y'all. Night, Will. Good night. Hey, town boy. Why don't you try this on for size? You idiot! That thing could have killed me! Shame it didn't! Everything just goes your way, don't it? What's the matter, you get bit? Copperhead won't kill you. Just make you swell up and hurt a little. I reckon it serves you right. You need to get that looked at. I've been snake bit before. It ain't nothing. No, you need to see a doctor. I don't need any help from you. You know, Pike probably went to get him a jar of shine. You look like you could do with a jolt yourself. Time you join the team for real. I think maybe even my mod understand if I took a swig. After what I seen tonight. You really think so? No. But I'll never know what the fuss is all about if I don't at least try it. the team. <coughs> well? It's the worst stuff I've ever tasted. Nobody ever likes their first swig. But it'll grow on you. You'll see. <sighs> and now I can officially toast you as a bona fide member of the Newton Sluggers. Welcome aboard, town boy.
Can we give you ladies a lift? No, thank you. Can I pick you up later and bring you back? No, thank you. Hey, that Billy Sunday meeting's coming up, isn't it? This Friday night. Reckon we can carry y'all over in my automobile? That won't be necessary. Jimmy, what is wrong with you? Will, do you have any idea how much the boys in the mill look up to you? I do have quite a little following. You know, it's not just baseball that they're gonna follow you into. Imogene, we can come into town another day. Let's go. Wait, Jenny. Wait a minute, Jenny. Oh, wait a minute. Don't follow me. Look, I, I know how things looked at the game the other day. I thought you were a Christian. What do you mean by that? Were you drunk? Jenny, listen. I promised my mom before I left I wouldn't even touch a drop. What you saw at the game the other day, that was just the team drinking. Well, it looked like you were going right along with the rest of them. Yeah, I know. They, they kind of give me a hard time about it. Sure, we can't give you a ride now. Thanks for the offer, but we'll walk. Let's go. Chick, looks like I'm back on the water wagon. What? Why? What did she say? Never mind. But I'm done drinking for good. I made up my mind. in shame where hearts oft faint and tire but I know of a name a precious name that can set that world on fire it's Jesus Christ the Son of God 32 years ago I walked down a street in Chicago in company with some ball players who were famous in this world some of them are dead now it was Sunday afternoon and we got tanked up and went down and sat in the street corner say I never go by that place but I thank God for saving me it's Van Buren Street Chicago well, as I say, we sat down on the corner and across the street, a company of men and women were playing on instruments and singing the old gospel songs I used to hear my mother sing back in the log cabin in Ames, Iowa, and back in the church where I used to go to Sunday school. And God painted on the canvas of my memory a vivid picture of the scenes of other days and other faces. Many have long since turned to dust. And I sobbed and I sobbed and a young man stepped out. He said, we're going down to the rescue mission. Won't you come down and join us? I said, what will I hear there? He said, you'll hear drunkards tell how they've been saved. You'll hear girls tell how they've been saved from the red light district. Well, I turned and I said to the boys, we're through. We've come to the parting of the ways. And I turned my back on them. One of them laughed. One of them mocked me. Others never said a word. 32 years ago, I turned and went down to that mission, fell on my knees and staggered out of my sin and into the arms of the Savior. Say, have you ever been washed in the blood of the Lamb of God? Have you ever turned from your own sinful way of living and asked Jesus to save your soul? I wonder if there's someone here today who would ask Jesus to save him. He's made all the difference in my life. He'll do the same for you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God help you to do it. Rhody, let's sing a song. I've wandered far away from God, now I'm coming home. The paths of sin to long I've trod, now I'm coming
Keep your eyes on the Lord. W A Sunday. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank you, sir. you too. Lord bless you. Take care. Uh, Mr. Sunday, I want to thank you. You're welcome, son. Um, everything you said tonight, it was like you was speaking to me alone. Um, I gave my heart to Christ tonight. You'll never be sorry, son. What's the name? Uh, Charles Spangler. Charles? Um, I grew up in the mill. Uh, um, my daddy was bad to drink, so my folks never told me how to be saved. Growing up in a Christian home won't save anyone. My own boys, they have their struggles just like everyone else. Every soul must come to Christ for himself. It's not a family deal. Hey, uh, this here's my friend, Will Wright. Hello, Will. Uh, we play baseball for Newton Mill. Is that right? Joe Jackson got his start down here, didn't he? That's right, sir. Oh, it's a great game. I love it dearly. But as I shared tonight, I found a higher calling when I found Christ. That's why you left baseball? Well, I played for a few years after I got saved. But I felt like I was, like I was wearing someone else's shoes. I still love the game. Well, you rounded the bases in 14 seconds. And now I round the platform in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon you could sign my Bible? Sure. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Can I see that? Yes, sir. Thank you. Chick, we're so glad for your decision. Thank you for inviting me. I've been praying for you. Thanks for that, Imogene. Have you talked with him about Christ before? I don't recollect. Maybe I have. Will, when did you ask Christ to save you? When I was real little, I, I can't hardly remember. But you do remember it happened? Yeah. My mom prayed with me. May I see what Mr. Sunday wrote in your Bible? Sure. To Will. Keep your eyes on the Lord. W.A. Sunday. So, uh, Ezekiel, what, what did you think of Mr. Sunday? Well, I'm thankful for his strong stand for right. Granted, the way he slangs up the gospel is a bit undistinguished yes. for a preacher. Yes. <laughs> but he does seem to connect with the common man. Well, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, oh, my dear boy. Like I said, she's a hugger. Ma, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Yes, dear, of course. This is Jenny Douglas. She's a secretary down at the mill. I'm pleased to meet you, ma'am. And I you, Jenny. How do you do? I know the young lady. How are you, Virginia? I'm doing fine, Mr. Hampton. Is your father here? Yes, he's outside gathering up the boys in the truck. Oh. Uh, Virginia's father is responsible for the boys' recreation down at the mill. In fact, if, if you would excuse me, I'd like to go thank him for bringing the group out tonight. Ladies. Mr. Hampton tells me you're an apprentice machinist, William? Oh, well, he's just putting it kindly. I, I just look after the looms, and then if something goes wrong, then I go and get real help. Will's told me all about you. Good things, I hope. Yes. I'm so pleased to hear about the promise you asked him to keep. He told you? Well, I'm glad he did. Will. Yes, Ma. I'm thankful that you haven't forgotten the promise that you made to me the night you left home. Can you look me in the eye and tell me you've kept it? Ma, this is hardly the time or place to be talking about personal matters. What is there to talk about? Okay, I tried it. But I hated it. I just promised my pal the other day that I would not even touch another drop. Will, I'm disappointed. It's okay, Ma. I'm done. For good. Will, will you come home for a visit? No, I can't. 
Mom, sorry. I'm just a bit tied up tonight. Pa, you'll be glad to know I'm hitting well. I might make it out of the mill. Is that right? Well, if not tonight, maybe some Sunday you can make it home and bring your friends. I'll see if I can make that work, Mom. We'd better go. So anyway, Pap, this Mr. Sunday, he delivers his sermons like a man on fire. He says it don't matter how rich you are, or how smart you are, or even how famous. Even if you make the Hall of Fame, it ain't good enough. You gotta put your faith in Christ alone. Oh, Spangler, are you preaching or pitching? I'm pitching. Then shut up and pitch. Between your fool preaching and your brother's fool snake bite, we're the worse off for the both of you. And as for you, Wright, you look like you're sleepwalking. Let's see some pep out there. Ready to go? I gotta get something to drink. I thought you was on the wagon. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I, I just don't feel it myself. Will, you better stay away from it. Look, I'm glad you're a Christian now and everything, but just cut it out, doggone it. When you first come, you never touched it. So when I first came, you wanted me to. I'm as sorry as I can be for that. You know, the Bible says, take a little wine for the stomach. You didn't know that, did you? You're using the Bible to justify booze? Hey, Mr. Holy Roller, just quit trying to shove religion down everybody else's throat. Hey, John. Hey, Chick. Hey, can you give me a hand a second? Sure, what do you need? Just turn that thing about a quarter turn. Oh, th yeah, that's good, that's good. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you know Christians that drink? That's a long story. There are some Christians that drink. Whole denominations allow moderate drink. I don't see how they can justify it, but they say as long as they drink in private or, or drink just a little bit, they won't hear any different, even though it's against the law of the land. But there's one thing I don't hear them say. What? They don't say that they're drinking so that God will be glorified in their lives. I reckon not. That is Bible. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. People don't often think about God's glory. They think about their own pleasures instead. So, you think prohibition is the right thing? Well, this may surprise you, but Sometimes I worry about the effects of prohibition. I feel like it's made it harder to reach some people with the gospel. Really? 
If Christians ever come to the place where we think we can make people act like they know the Lord, even when they don't, they'll hate us. And maybe rightly so. The choice to come to Christ is a choice made in the heart. It can't be forced on someone. Now, I know that liquor is the bane of our society. And I know that lives are being saved by the 18th Amendment. But the root of the problem is still sin. And the only way to get to that root is for Jesus Christ to change the heart of a man from the inside out. My pa was bad to drink. He left after a little bow come along, went back up to the mountains to sell moonshine. He got real mean whenever he had a snoop full of this stuff. So we were kind of happy when he finally took off. I hate to say it. I'm sorry to hear that, Chick. Give me a hand. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I've only been a Christian for a few days, but it seems no one on the team can stand me. Even Will, he said I'm acting like a holy roller. Will said that? Yes, sir. But then, I give him his first drink. I know I have to answer for that. Jenny told me he took a pledge not to drink. I think he did, and then he went off it. I'm afraid he got a taste for it now. Well, maybe you and I, or Jenny, one of us can talk to him. Do you know for sure he's a born again Christian? I reckon. He don't talk much about it though. Chick, do you think you could take Friday off? I'm trying to organize a day trip for the mill boys and I sure could use a hand. Oh, you can count on me. Do you think it would be all right if I brung Will along too? He'd have to be bone dry. Don't you worry, I can take care of that. I'll bring little Bo. He's got a soft spot a mile wide for that boy. That'll dry him right out, guarantee it. Real good. as a group, and nobody's to go out in the water deeper than what you can stand in, right? Right! These are your two lifeguards. You do whatever they tell you to do, or else I'll put you in the back of the truck with me and Jenny, right? Right! And everybody keep your long johns on all day, right? Right! Say right! Right! Go in. Yeah. Prisoner's been set free. Yeah.
Well, you are. But that doesn't mean that the interruption is unwelcome. Will, I wanted to ask you something anyway. All right. Ask away. All right. <laughs> well? Will, have you kept your promise to your mama? Well, I guess there's no use trying to fool you. I kept it till the night Pike initiated me to the team with a full-grown copperhead. And then I started drinking with the team. I, I was too ashamed to tell you on the road into town, and so I told you about the promise I made, and I set out to keep it. Have you? I did for a while. I, I don't know. Sometimes I kind of feel lousy without it. Well, that's dangerous. I know. My pa had a brother that drank himself to death, as they say. That's why he never wanted either of his boys to even touch it. And what possessed you to do it? I just figured I was old enough to make my own choices and not do whatever my parents said. So, you didn't tell the truth that night? I'm sorry, Jenny. Well, you need to get help. No, I, I don't need help. I just need to quit it. And I will. In your own strength? I'm not going to let anyone else do it for me. Look, Jenny, I, I've never known anyone to care about. And I don't know how to tell you this, but I care about you and what you think. Then stop playing. What? Baseball? I mean life. No. No, I care about you too, Will Wright. Too much to ignore your walk with God. What do you mean? You just admitted that you want to do it all on your own. You, it's all you. You're too proud to get help. Will, are you a Christian? What do you want me to say? I, I told you I've been a Christian my whole life. I know that's what you say, but I don't see. What? I mean... What don't you see? Will, are you a Christian in your heart? Or are they just words you say? You know what? You're right. Jenny, I've been wrong and I'm sorry. Will you forgive me and give me another chance? Forgive you for what? For drinking. I never should have lied to you. Jenny, I know in my heart I can't quit. I'll even get help. You're just saying that to please me? Jenny, I'll do whatever you want. No. No, you can't just do what I want. Will, in your heart, do you want to please Jesus Christ because you belong to him, body and soul? Or do you just want to please me? Can I do both? This friendship between us, whatever it is, it has to end. I'm sorry, Will, but I am not helping you. Jenny. I'm sorry. I can't. Slugger.
Well, do you have any idea how many people are looking for you? Playoff for crying out loud. next time right you're out of this game and you're out of the next one too you are disgraced to newton mill but if i don't play in the final the scout won't see me <laughs> you don't want no scout to see you out of all these mugs i expected more out of you Town boy, bet you never been called a disgrace to a mill before, have you? Shut up, Pike. Finally get to see you right where you belong. The bottom of the heap, neath the whole team of linheads. I swear. Don't push me. Yeah? I seen the game. You couldn't hit me even if you used to try. There he is, Chick! Pike, leave him alone. You hear that iron will? My little brothers are trying to help you. They want me to leave you alone. Watch out, Will! Bo, go home. The both of yous. This here's between me and the town boy. I ain't fighting a one-armed man. Don't you walk away from me! <clears throat> <clears throat> You do! You killed him. You killed him! No. Please, God, no! He ain't dead. He's still breathing. Pike, we gotta get him to the infirmary. Run ahead and get the doc. It's a bad bump, but he's breathing steadily now, and he's going to be okay. Will, Bo's not dead. He's knocked out, but he ain't dead. Don't do anything crazy. Just leave me alone. No, I'm not going anywhere. Then I'll go. No, you're staying till we talk. There's nothing to talk about. All I could think about was how much I hated your brother. How I wanted to hurt him bad. But if Bo dies... Bo ain't gonna die. You don't know that! I know he's in God's hands. We can pray for him. 
Don't talk to me about God. You won't even pray for him? God won't hear my prayers. Sure he will. God hears all prayers. You don't know your Bible like I do. The Bible says if there's sin in my heart, God won't hear me. Then get rid of the sin. That's all the Bible I do know. Mr. Sunday said, if you turn from your sin, God will forgive you. He wants to. That, that's all there is to being a Christian, just asking Jesus forgiveness for your sins. It's not that simple. Why not? My whole life is a lie. I've always said what other people wanted to hear. But in my own heart, I've never turned from my sin. You can change that. I've heard about being a Christian for so long. It's nothing but words. Don't just say the words. Mean them. It ain't that hard to do. I wouldn't even know how. Will, are you sorry for your sins? I am. Well, don't tell me. Tell him. I, I am sorry for my sin. God, I'm sorry for going against you and going my own way. For saying that I was a Christian and, and doing whatever I wanted to do. I'm sorry for everything that I've done against you. God, forgive me for my sin. Please forgive me. Were you just pretending? No. Let's pray for Bo, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, come on in. I heard about what happened. But you didn't hear all of it. I asked the Lord to save me. Is that right? I I'd never been able to look somebody in the eye before and tell them that I know I'm a Christian. But I can today. Well, that's an answer to prayer, Will. But there's still so much I don't know. When I left home, that was wrong. When I broke my promise and started to drink, that was wrong. Uh, letting my team down because of my drinking is more wrong. I, lying and acting like I'm something I wasn't. I, I'm just so wrong, I don't know how to get right. I don't even know if I should play baseball anymore. It, it's been my whole life. I, I just don't know. baseball really the problem? What do you think? Well, what did Billy Sunday say? He said he didn't have a problem with the game itself. He just said he found a higher calling. But you've got a natural gift for baseball. I've watched you develop it all season. And you've got a gift for working with the boys. I've seen that this summer too. Maybe you can find a way to Take all that God's given you and bring glory to Him. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Then He'll make it clear to you. In all thy ways acknowledge Him. He'll direct you. First off, I have a lot of apologies I need to make. Sounds like a good start. Can I speak to Jenny? Will! Bo's awake! He's fine! He just woke up. He's gonna be all right. Can I go see him? Why do you think I'd come to get you? Can I come back later? Sure, go on. Mrs. Spangler, I'm so sorry about what I did. Has Bo, is he awake yet? Doc says it'll take a couple of days for the goose egg to go down, but he'll be fine. He's up. I'm so glad to hear that. Is it okay if I go and see him? As a matter of fact, he asked about you first thing. Really? Yes, he wants to make sure you don't feel bad about what happened. He does? 
There is nothing you can do to dim that boy's admiration of you, Will Wright. He's waiting in there for you. Go on in. It's amazing. For the first time in my life, I feel free. It does kind of seem like you're bouncing off the clouds. To think for so long I've lived trying to act like I was free. I never knew how it feels. And now I bet you're just itching to get back into the batter's box. Well, that I don't know. I apologize to the team at practice, but Skip says he still won't play me. And I can't blame him. Then the scout might not see you play. He might not, but who knows? Maybe Scoop will change his tune if I show up and act right. I hope so. It used to mean the world to me if I caught the eye of a scout. I know. But don't get me wrong, it's still a chance of a lifetime. But there's so many other things I care about more than baseball. Mac? Well, Bo. Him being okay. I'm gonna go see him at the hospital right before the game. That's a great idea. And of course, I want to be right where God wants me to be. That means the world to me. That's the best thing. Yeah. And, well. What? Friends that I've made while I've been here. Jenny, I know I told you at the lake the other day, but I got to say it again. You've become my best friend. I feel the same way. Gotta get going. You're gonna miss the first inning. Okay, I'll get going. But you know I'd do anything to make sure that you were there too, right? It's okay. I'm getting better. Goose egg going down? Some. Can you get a home run for me today? I don't know if I'll even get a chance to bat, Bo. Why not? Well, I gotta say it. I was living for myself, Bo. I messed up pretty bad for the team. But they'll give you another chance. They just gotta. We'll see. But hey, I promise to give you a play-by-play -play of how it went when I get back, okay? Okay. Thanks for coming to see me. Thanks for being my biggest fan.
Anybody seen Wright today? I saw him this morning. Probably sleeping off his most recent spifflication. No. He ain't been drinking. What? Because he got religion? I've seen that kind of flash in the pan before. But he's different. I know it. Then why ain't he here? Even if he does show, there ain't no way I'll put him in. He'd only foul things up. I've seen a fool ball player late to the biggest dog on ball game of the year. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the championship game, which brings the Anderson team to Newton Mill for the last game of the season. Now, young man, I want you to be just as still as you can. I don't want no more needles. We've given him something to uh, settle him down. He'll be all right. It's okay, Bo. The doctor's just doing what he's got to do to make sure you're okay. I'm here with you, buddy. Well, you got to get to the game. Don't worry about the game. It's more important that I see you're okay. Well, please don't. It's okay, Bo. Just take it easy. It's all gonna be okay. Two outs in the top of the second. Spangler's trying to get that last strike. Come on, Spangler. Strike him out. about Will. Yeah, I'm wondering where Pike is. He'll sleep a long time now. You can go. You're sure, Doc? All right, thank you. Will anywhere. It's not like him to miss a game. I hope there's no trouble. He's probably on his way right now. We're halfway through the game. Newton has a man on second, but they need to get him home. Come on, honey, cut. Get on base.
expected you a long time ago. I figured as much. Got some unfinished business with you, town boy. I gotta get to the game, Pike. No. See? That's the whole point. You ain't gotta go nowhere. Clear out of my way. I think we're good right here. I'm coming through, Pike. You think so? Get out of my way. You think? How do you think it felt when that ball you threw hit Bo in the head? I don't know. Must have hurt something awful. You're crazy. You're dead. I ain't gonna thank you if that's what you're waiting for. If you ever knew what it felt like to be set free, I don't know, you might be a different person. Maybe one day. Walt in here anytime you want. Sit there, keep your trap shut. Is that scout from Charlotte here? Yeah, he's here. He ain't seeing much from us though. Well, you want me to talk to Scoop for you? No. Missed the first seven innings of the championship game. What else can he do? Thank you. 
Well, right, you know one I'd rather have coming to the plate right now. You, you ain't been drinking? No, sir. Okay, then. Make us proud. you a debt of gratitude, Mr. Douglas. This is a contract from the Charlotte Spinners. I knew it. I knew you could do it. It's what you always dreamed of. <laughs> you did Newton Mill proud, Will. Well, I can't believe it. I knew you had it in you, town boy. I could have done it without you. Well, it ain't gonna be the same around here. <laughs> you can't get rid of me that fast. John and I came up with a plan. If I do well in Charlotte, I can come back in the offseason to the mill, right? Offer is always open. I want to start helping John with the boys' recreation league. I know I can use some help. <laughs> and, well, who knows what the future brings. Will! Ma? I'm so proud of you, son. How in the world did, did you... Your friend told us about the championship. Uh, she even offered to come and drive us from town. Ma, Pa, I, I've wronged you both. I'm sorry. We can talk about that later, Will. We freely forgive you. Well, like I said, she's a hugger. <laughs> Will, you've made such wonderful friends while you've been away, Jenny so much for today. I knew you'd want to be here. William, I have to say I've been a bit narrow in my perspective on what you could do with your life. I've been a bit narrow in my perspective about a good many things, but I aim to do better. There are no stains on the pages of tomorrow. That's right, son. There aren't. Well, in that case, I have just one question for you. Would it be all right if I brought a mill girl to meet the town folk at church tomorrow? <laughs> if you don't bring her, son, I will. <laughs> She's a keeper. Well, you ready?
Thank mm -hmm. you. 